I think it's four five six one eight. Four five six one eight. Tough cookie, I think it's called. And then we'll copy that one as well. Four five six one eight. Tough cookie. Four five six one eight. And that might get us in there. So let's see what happens if we start her up. So this gets us to the obstacle itself. Tough cookie, tough cookie, four five six one eight. You basically click on this, or you click in here, and then you get some sort of thing with lots of text, bunch of numbers, some uh, some rubbish, some letters, and then some numbers some letters and some numbers and some more letters so we have to pick these numbers out and then put them into here here and here okay so I'm thinking to solve this problem we're going to use a regular expression because it's really it's really obvious isn't it and we're going to use word groups and then we're going to basically pull those numbers out and put them in here and we should be done with that Gonna do a little bit of a scan now on the web page. Select on screen what we want. Click me to reveal. First number here, second number, and third number. Everything was recognized. I'm happy enough with the naming. Let's save that. So We've got our little bit of structure in here now. Get rid of all that junk. Don't need it. It's the one we did earlier. Let's just drag that in. Okay, cool. Okay, so we want to use a regular expression. When it comes to extracting text using regular expressions, we need to use this syntax here. Do you see where it says uh, regular expression and then question mark, buffer name, a sub expression, and close parentheses and expression. This is how we're gonna capture the individual numbers, probably using backslash D or something like that. So if we look at this little entry here expression extracting text using regular expressions this is a good one basically you can say hello sarah 85 and then the regular expression would be regex a to z any letters any number of them followed by a space right here and then this is the beginning of a buffer with the parentheses okay and the buffer is going to be called username and it's going to take any letters any numbers any number of them and then the question mark, that's the last pattern matching piece. Okay, so I came up with a little regular expression that says A to Z, any letters, any number of them, and then parentheses and question mark, and then it's, it's kind of ugly syntax, but create a variable, a buffer, called number one, if, and I want it constructed out of a series of digits, okay? And as we can see now, it's pulled out 52214. We run it again. You've got to be real quick now. I see. No, that was kind of quick. But the number changed. So, now that we have achieved doing that, why don't we just copy this, right? Like that. And then we just stick it in there once and then again, okay? So it's letters, number one, letters, number two, like that instead. Letters, any number, and then number three. We call this number one, because I want everything the same length. Yes, it's a little OCD and I don't mind. Let's try it again. Actually, you know what? Now that we have the, the values, why don't we just uh, do this? And then uh, was it buffer number one? <clears throat> Weird, huh? 
Get the syntax wrong. Number one. Number two. Number three. Gotta finish that. Let's give it a go, shall we? Ronin scratch book. Uh, that was super quick, but it worked. <laughs> All right, guys and girls, that's it. Um, bonus points for anybody who wants to explain to me what happened. Ah, the closed browser actually had something. For those of you who don't trust me, which should be a lot of you, let's run it one more time. Okay. Yeah, it arms very quick, doesn't it? Anyway, listen, give us a like, give us a subscribe, cost you nothing, give us a comment. Again, it costs you nothing, but it really helps the channel. Hope you enjoyed this video. Cheers, bye.